Welcome back to the final slice of today's Lee Swing, where we're still here with Sir Cliff Richard. <laughs> You two here actually go back quite a long way, don't you? Oh, oh many years. Know oh, each I other do. a long time. I, I was nine years old when I first met Claire. Yes, I yes, know. we know. Let's have a look. Ooh. Oh, you're Starting from the left, we have. I'm Anne. I'm Denise. I'm Maureen. I'm Linda. I'm Bernadette. And I'm Carly. <laughs> Musically speaking. to be really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that push they gave you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you weren't paying attention, were you? Yeah. Do you know what? I always Nothing's remember changed, about you. Yeah, exactly. You were so lovely. Oh. I loved you. Did you? Yes. Oh, darling. Just, oh. Oh. It's so it's nice. nice to meet women of taste. <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, it appears a lot of people have got a taste for your life story because this is now, you've just said, this is number one, it's your autobiography. Yeah, number I, one in the book. I in just the book? had a call. <laughs> yeah. 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 Look, it's brilliant. It's, uh, it's number one in, the, obviously, the non-fictional area. Yeah. Because it's too hard to compete with all the, uh, the novels that go on. <laughs> but uh, mm. I'm really Fantastic. thrilled. I can't believe my luck. Why? First question, why, why did you decide to write the book? Well, I think the 50 years inspired a lot of people to say, well, why don't we do this for the 50th? Why, why not? Why not? And I thought, well, the book would be a great idea. Like the, uh, the aforementioned... Uh, uh, the CD, CD box, box which yeah. is actually which coming is actually out... Come out this month, isn't this it? Month, yeah. Yeah. Monday. Monday, Monday. Right. Monday. Right. But I thought the book might be a good idea because although I've had an autobiography out once, I didn't spend a great deal of time with it. And this time, mm. Penny Juna helped me, who's, who's done Mar Maggie Thatcher's and also Prince Charles. So I thought, well, if she's, she's used to this... And I think she's done a brilliant job. But what I did was I did take it away and three manuscripts later, mm. I, I made it mine as well. Mm. And Penny, I, well, I couldn't have done it without her, though. You know, some people just know how things should be. I just wanted it to come from my heart, though, as well as get the facts right. Yeah. It was so nice to read it. Have somebody the do facts. the structure mm. and then you can kind of put the yeah. feeling and the emotion in behind it. Yeah. But it's quite, a, it's quite a brave, risky thing, I think, to do an autobiography because... By your, I mean, you're, you've, you've obviously enjoyed a fabulous career, you're extremely famous, you've done really well, but you've always tried to kind of keep your personal life personal, which, much to the chagrin of most of the press for the past 50 <laughs> years. Well, so so where, where, what about the decision to think, OK, I'm going to write a book, I'm going to have to be open, I'm going to have to open up that kind of personal life. Was that a difficult one for you? No, not really, because the problem with the press is that, I mean, mm. I... I probably am an artist who spent more time with the press than almost any other artist on the planet. When they arrange a, a tour of something and I've got to talk to press people here and there, I'd never cancel. I mean, I've heard of people much younger than me cancelling all the interviews and mm. stuff like that. So I've spent a lot of time talking. Sometimes what you want to say is not what they want to hear. Mm. Mm. And, and that's Don't the frustration that in the end, if they're writing for your followers or people that have seen you on television, what those people want is to get what you feel about life, what you feel about this, marriage, etc., mm. all of that. And it's what you do every... You know, you're mm. talking about breastfeeding or not breastfeeding or cow feeding. <laughs> <laughs> Goat feeding. Why did you think of me mean? when you said that? Because <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the one that was going that, yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, but so, so it's just a matter of saying in the book, there have been books written about me, and the danger with that is somebody who writes about you mm. doesn't actually know you, but is a good writer, can write a pretty good book, but the, they're all opinions. They're all, it's all speculative. But mm. This way, at least, I could take subjects and say, what do I really think about this? And I've done that. Mm. I haven't... I haven't the depths of my soul will still die with me. Right. You know, your best friends don't get you're everything your, that you're yeah. thinking about all the time. Heaven help us. Mm -hmm. so, so, you know, that's, that's not true. But it was a great thing to do because I felt, if I can't do it now, when am I going to do, do it? it? Yeah. Have you, you had know, a contented life? I mean, you've had an amazing life, for sure. Have you had a contented life, personally? Is there, do you feel the fame and the fortune has in any way cost you, personally? Because you didn't go down the road of family and kids and, and all that sort of thing. No, I could have done, but I didn't. No, that's true. And I, but I didn't choose not to go. It just happened, and suddenly I thought, wait a minute, I like the life I've got. I get lovely letters from people saying, oh, we can't wait for you to be, um, was it married? Uh, happy and I'm married with children and happy and I thought well no there's no it's two, I got two out of three anyway right. so it's not that way 
Uh, and so I kept thinking, well, there, some people think that that's the only way to, for, for contentment. And yeah. for some people, it is, of course. We're all so different. That's another thing they can't deal with. That if somebody comes along and they happen to be different in their concept of life and what's happiness for them, they, unless you conform, mm. it's... So you we see, want basically, you to you're stay talking to exactly a non exactly as you are, except we want you to do it over there. Because oh. we're running out of time and we oh, need okay. to hear this wonderful new song. <laughs> so Cliff Richard, everybody. <laughs> single from Sir Cliff Richard. We will see you tomorrow when Duncan James joins us. We'll see you then. Fifty years ago A kid stood on a stage Trying to hold his nerve Till the moment that he heard The music I can see him now It's so hard to believe So many things have changed But one thing stays the same The music And I've been blessed To live this life I gave my best And now it's time To say time of my life Back in 58 I started on this road It seems like yesterday When the band started playing Move it So many memories Places that I've seen Timeless melodies It all seems like a dream It's magic for every song I've ever sung, I want to say to everyone, thank you for sharing the story, thank you for being there for me, I'm a thief, you're out there, to me it feels just right, I gave you a lifetime, but you gave me the time of my life.